Well, the R5 is a clear winner here. Hey everyone, Alexander back at you with another video. Today we're taking a look at the autofocus with the cameras that I own, the R5, the C70, and the C400. Now I've marveled about the C400's autofocus already, but we're gonna see how does it compare against the mirrorless, which was known for its autofocus, the R5, giving us 4K, 120 frames with autofocus. So we're gonna test out a variety of frame rates to include on the C70, which is not known for its autofocus, but with recent firmware updates, we're hoping that it can at least compete with these two cameras. So let's go out and test it out. To be fair, I'm gonna be using a tripod for each of these tests. I'm gonna be using the same lens, the Canon 50 millimeter L series F12. Let's go ahead and start. All right, Canon C400 is up first since that's what we're all interested in. Camera rolling, action. Good. Now we'll go on to the running test. Action. Didn't even catch it there. Action. This is the running. Didn't even catch it there. Good. All right, now we're going to 60 frames. I come for come in the sunlight a little bit. Camera recording. And Action. Action. Now the running test. Action. All right. Action. This is the running. Good. Let's go ahead and try the R5. Yeah. Thanks. All right, to be completely fair, I'm gonna film in uh, 8K raw at 24 frames. I'm getting some vignetting on this ND. All right, so Camera rolling, this is 24 frames at uh, 8K raw. Go ahead. Uh, 8K raw, go ahead. Holding it own on the autofocus, walking. All right, let's do running. All right, action. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, the R5 is a clear winner here. Let's do 60? Yeah, 60 frames, which I can't do in raw. I'm just gonna do 120 frames. I know the C400 can do 120 frames, but uh, you lose some um, video quality. All right, this is 4K 120 frames, and go ahead. Like a dum dum, I put it in 24 frames instead of 120 frames, but I can assure you that the R5 with autofocus and that creative frame rate 120 frames is a great tool it works flawlessly 99 percent of the times the r5 is a clear winner here the mirrorless taking it uh c400 it's great that a camera like that even has autofocus but um for fast moving subjects it's clearly lacking not bad not bad and action Action. Honestly, not bad. Okay, so the R5 was a clear winner here with all of these. Let's just wait a second. Morning, guys. Suburbia. The R5 was a clear winner with all three of these tests. Uh, the R5 was able to track moving subject filming 8K raw. Uh, with ease, the C400 struggled a little bit, but it's good that you have all those features from the C400 and it still offers autofocus. So for the type of work I do and for the type of 90% of our work, isn't gonna have someone sprinting towards the camera. Uh, in that case, you're gonna wanna have an experienced focus puller. The fact that the C400 even has autofocus is a great thing. The C70, 
with its firmware updates. Didn't struggle as bad as I thought it would. And honestly, it's got some great uh, autofocus to mention uh, in a camera body like this. But the R5, again, is a clear winner. I hope this has been helpful. Stick around for more videos and I'll check. I hope this has been helpful. Stick around for more videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.